Hey everyone, my name is Daryl, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Easy Digital Download plugin, explain what it is and how to use it. Now, in this video, I'm just gonna kinda of give you a quick rundown of this plugin. I'll actually be having a full tutorial on how to make this same exact digital download website in the description below, probably in a week from now. So, uh, for those of you who want to learn how to build it, I'll be having a tutorial. But uh, let me just kinda of give you a rundown of it and show you what it's for. So, the EDD plugin is for creating digital download products. So, if you wanna sell something, like an ebook or a cooking recipe or some sort of instructions, the EDD is probably your best solution. In fact, it is much better than WooCommerce in regards to selling digital download or digital products. So let's say for instance, you have a customer, right? And uh, they're at your site saying, hey, I like this product, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. And right here obviously would be the price. So right here, I'll click on free and purchase and go to checkout. Now notice here how the checkout process is a little bit more faster and automated. So uh, over here under the personal information, Unlike WooCommerce, you don't have to enter in your physical address, you don't have to enter in your other billing address. It's just straight and forward. Like, like just give us your email and your name and then there you go. And right here, I'll just click on free download. Now, of course, you can offer free downloads on your website or you can offer paid downloads on your website, but I'm just using free just to give you an example of how it works. And right here is the purchase confirmation page. So here you can see people have their product, they've purchased it. Uh, right here is the actual product and if they click on the actual uh, product, they can actually download it. Now, uh, I just did a, just a random image, obviously. So uh, it's just for the tall purposes, obviously, but you'd want to insert your product in there and I'll show you how to do that in just a bit. Also, what I like about it is that it has a very clean dashboard. So right here, you can click on dashboard and the user can always log into their account, see all their downloads, download them anytime you want. In fact, you can even restrict the amount of downloads uh, if you want for your customers. Uh, here they have um, a record of their purchase history and they, they can always change their account information on it as well. So I feel like the EDD plugin is just a very, it's like an all-in-one solution for digital downloads. Now, let me just show you really quickly on how to actually create a product or we call them downloads in the back end. So unlike WooCommerce where it says products, here we have downloads. And right here is basically all downloads or virtually all products. And here you can see a list of all of your products. You can see the amount of sales, the amount that you made from it, and also the date you've published it. Here you can also have categories, tags, payment history, and also all of your customers. You can also make uh, discount codes if you want, you know, for your products. Uh, here is your reports. So this will basically show you how much money that you're making on your website. Uh, right here you have settings. So you can check out different payment gateways, different emails, styles, uh, taxes, etc. There is no shipping option because obviously we're not selling, we're not shipping anything. So that is basically, um, you know, just a, a quick run out of it as well. Uh, here you have tools, which are more for developers. And then again, we have extensions, which I'll talk more about this a little bit later at the end of the video. But let's just go ahead and make a new product. Let me just kind of show you the interface of it and just kind of explain to you how it works. So let's make a let's make a download. We're gonna do, um, oops, I hit my mic. <laughs> uh, let's do, uh, I don't know, uh, ebook. Ebook for cooking, you know, cause a lot of girls can't cook today. You know, it's it's just how it goes, man. Some some girls just can't cook. It's, it's, it's sad. <laughs> I'm just kidding, all right. Uh, here, I'll put in like a description of it. Like this is a cooking book. And right here we have downloaded prices. So uh, if you wanna just go ahead and, and offer one price, you can do that. Now you can also have the variable option. So for instance, right here, you can say, uh, this right here is for just like cooking breakfast. This right here <clears throat> is just for cooking lunch. And then this right here is cooking for dinner. And then it would be like $10, $20, $30. So if you wanna have variable products on your website, the EDD plugin can do that as well. But I, I wanna keep it simple, 10 bucks. Now, we also have the, the option of default and bundle. The difference is that default right here is just a simple product and bundle is basically adding in a lot of different products right here on your, um, you know, as a, as like a, you know, like a bundle pack. So if you want to offer six different cooking books or something like that on your site, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, I'm just going to select default right now. And then right here, I'll just put like a patty whack. Now file URL. So what are they going to be able to download once they actually purchase the actual product. Uh, my best recommendation is whatever you do right here for the file, um, add a zip folder because the zip folder is downloadable. So a lot of these images right here, you'll have to put it in a zip and then once they actually down, they click on the, the icon, it'll download it as a zip folder and they can open it and download or you can give them whatever you want. So in regards to digital downloads, 
It's a pretty simple process. Here, I'll go ahead and just uh, upload this file right here. And uh, also on the right side right here, we have download limits. So you can actually set the download limit amount if you want to add that for your customers. You don't have to. Uh, another cool option right here, which usually you need a plugin for WooCommerce for, is you can change it to buy now or add to carts. Uh, I like buy now because buy now takes them directly to the checkout, which is actually two plugins for WooCommerce, and this is just one. And then also the add to cart, which would have to be add to cart, view the cart, and the checkout. So I think the buy now option is probably a little bit better. Uh, here I'll go ahead and select the download image. So maybe, uh, what are we doing, cooking? Here we go, cooking. We'll set that right there. Uh, download notes. So special notes or instructions for a product. And then you can set them to a category. And here I'll click on publish. All right, now let's view the download. Let's take a look at it. So ebook for cooking. And then here we have the image and then you have a description of it. And then they can always click on buy to now or uh, buy now. Now I think that the actual, you know, the actual um, user experience you can say is pretty simple with EDD. So again, right here, here's the product. We can click on it. I mean, we don't even have to check the description. If they see it, they like it, they want it, they buy it, boom, done. You know, there's they're out the door. You know, the object of these websites is to get them out the door as fast as you can, you know. So here we'll click on buy now. All right, and then there you go. It's going to uh, $10 because I added a price and it'll, it'll prompt them to PayPal. Now, there are extensions to not redirect them to PayPal because let's be honest, you know, we're in 2019. You know, no one does that anymore. So uh, if you want to go ahead and actually um, uh, look at their extensions, there is a link below to their websites. I'll put that in the description. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about the extensions and then talk about the actual uh, the passes. Now, by default, the EDD plugin is free. It's a free plugin. You can get it on WordPress.org. It's a free plugin. But if you want to add the extensions for it, like let me go ahead and go back here to the extensions. There's two ways you can purchase them. You can purchase them individually or you can purchase the pass, which is what I recommend because it's way cheaper and you get a lot more for your buck, you know? Uh, let me go ahead and go over here to uh, downloads and go to extensions. So on their website right here, if you click on add-ons, they have various add-ons right here. They have Stripe, they have recurring payments, all access pass, which is basically um, uh, basically all the digital download extensions, uh, front-end submissions, so you can turn yourself into a multi-vendor website, uh, kind of like Envato Markets, software licensing. So if they're selling WordPress themes, this would be the best way to license it. Uh, free downloads, MailChimp, uh, Checkout Editor. I mean, you you get it. You've seen this probably before a lot of times, but they have a lot of extensions. I mean, commissions for additional vendors. They probably should have added that in the multi-vendor plugin, but I, I guess they put it separate if, the, if that's what they want to do. Now, the one I personally recommend and I think that you will need is the extended pass because with the extended pass, you get the Stripe and you get the recurring. And I think that's probably the most important ones on Stripe uh, period. Or I'm sorry, on uh, EDD period. So right here, you get the actual. Um, you get. You can see the actual plugins that you get. So you get the Stripe, the Zapier, the Mailchimp, the PayPal. All, uh, all You get the all access. I don't know about that. Maybe that's a. Maybe that's a, a, a glitch or something. Uh, free downloads, recurring payments, invoices, cross sell and upsells, etc. So. And then the other ones you get a little bit limited. Now I don't recommend this one right here, the personal pass, because you don't get the recurring. And I think for anyone selling digital products, you want to kind of keep them on a recurring basis. You want to keep them coming back, so you can charge them on a daily, on a monthly, etc. In, in fact, the, this one right here doesn't even have the Stripe integration, so <laughs> I don't recommend it at all. So uh, in that regard, you can actually do the extended pass for two hundred dollars. But you know, if you want to go ahead and purchase these a la carte, it is a little bit more expensive. So for example, right here, just the Stripe plugin alone is going to cost you well, $89. You know, they have the extended pass, which I believe, you know, I'll, I'll learn more about that. I think it's like once you have the pass, it's you can actually label other products cheaper. I believe that's what it is. It's like dynamic pricing almost. But right here, you can kind of see it costs $89. So it's like, eh, if you get that in one other plugin, you already qualify to get 15 other plugins. So in that regards, I'm thinking to myself, ah, I'd probably go ahead and get the extended pass. So, you know, with those add-ons right there, you can probably make a fully functional, you know, uh, digital download service. Now, what can you sell? Well, that's really up to you. You know, that's really your business. You can sell 
uh, pretty much anything you want, you know. And the, the great part about digital products is that they self-replicate. There's no shipping. There's no inventory. There's no SKUs. There's just, you, you just, you get them out there and, and people buy them, you know. So in that regard, I think EDD is probably your best solution for selling digital products on your website. So if you have any questions about EDD, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I will be having a full tutorial on the EDD plugin and some of the extensions in the description below in probably a, a week from now. Um, we're actually gonna be using a free theme. So, you know, all you'll obviously need to do is pay for hosting. Uh, we're gonna be using the free theme. We'll be using a um, uh, the free version of EDD. I will be showing how to use just the recurring and Stripe because I think that's probably the most common and probably the most important, right? Because you wanna get paid, you know? So make sure to like this video. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below and I will see you all later.